why do I look like I'm about to, you know, go on the farm? I gotta take my cattle out. I got a couple chickens. <laughs> Watch me go and do my thing. Welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, my new song, Do My Thing, is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud. It's everywhere. Listen up. And if you send me screenshots of you streaming, you know I'm going to send you the link to our Discord chat, which is very VIP, but also very fun. Let me see what they're talking about right now, as a matter of fact. What's the last thing that's been said? They send in TikToks. Um, Asia made an edit for me. Okay, girl, yes. Oh, okay, yes. Look how cute I look. Queen. But yeah, you also want to make sure you check out shop.iamallyfits.com so you can be wearing the cutest merch and you can be a 10 out of 10. I know you want it. And you'll also get a shout out on my Instagram page and on my YouTube video, like your face could go here. But now that that self promo is out of the way, y'all know that it's Monday. I know people don't usually like Mondays, but we can look forward to them because we have episodes. And now we can see what my character has to jump into next. Cause you know, all of a sudden she's a spy and I got killed last episode, so. She'll be excited. <laughs> As I woke up, memories of what had happened the night before hit me. Yeah, when I got killed and then had to pretend that I didn't. Oh. <clears throat> had I really gotten myself invited to Oliver Rothschild's party on my first day of school and shared a steamy kiss with him in his hot tub? Oh yeah, forgot about that part. I had never in my life been so brazen before. Is that the word? Had I really wanted to kiss Oliver? Had to do what I had to do. Did I even have a choice? At this point, no. Oh, not him texting me the day after. I'm glad you came last night. Oh, sorry I left so early. You know, we have to we have to play the part. Sorry I left so early. <gasps> he texted back quick too. The party wasn't the same without you afterwards. Now I understand how the prince felt after Cinderella ran from his party. Oh, <gasps> what do you mean? What do you mean? Message from Oliver. You turned up mysteriously, rocked my world, and then you fled too early. Oh, how can I make it up to you? I gotta play the part, you guys, gotta get the tea. You can make it up to me by telling me what is your favorite flower. <gasps> roses, calla lilies, or tulips? I mean, like, where's sunflower? I'm gonna go with roses, but where's sunflower? Roses. Damn it, he's hot and charming, and a notorious playboy. Get a grip, Aaliyah. Oh, look at me. You! Uh, <gasps> who is she? You're that skank who got her grubby little paws on Oliver last night. Ooh, shit, it was Giselle Bunchen from last night. Wait, had she been hanging around outside my room waiting for me to come out? How does she know which room was mine anyway? I'm creepy. Who are you calling a skank? Oh, grubby little paws. Seriously, who are you calling a skank? Excuse me, who are you calling a skank? You heard me. You were pretty shameless last night, newbie. Oh, well, first of all, I didn't throw myself at anybody. I think Oliver can decide for himself who he prefers to speak with. Secondly, are you stalking me now? Stalking you? You think too highly of yourself, bitch. I suddenly realized that this tall, beautiful blonde mannequin was jealous of me. So you came here to, what? Threaten me? Stake your claim on Oliver? Got her. Oh, I told you I wasn't playing no games. I'm mean today. Oliver is mine. You might have cut his eye last night, but don't fool yourself into thinking that you stand a chance with him. An ordinary little nobody like you. So you have a little trust fund? That's nothing around here. My family owns half of the hotels in Dubai. You're right, I'm a nobody. What's your point? Or am I supposed to be impressed? Am I supposed to be impressed? <laughs> Got her. Oh, she's big bad, super mad. He'll get bored of you soon enough. Then he'll come back to me. He always does. In the meantime, you should know your place or I will destroy you. Girl, ain't nobody scared of you. Destroy me? Someone has been watching too many episodes of Game of Thrones. And anyway, I was much more afraid of what Michael would do to me than some jealous teenager. True, we got bigger fish to fry. It's not that bad, Rose. Don't try to come for me. I puked at Oliver Rothschild's party. My social life is over before it's even begun. 
Seriously, Rose, don't worry about it. Oliver didn't seem too bothered by it, or he's probably used to these kind of things happening at his parties. He's probably used to these kind of things happening at his parties. You seem pretty cozy with the billionaire wild child last night. Oh, did you two go off alone somewhere? Oh, <gasps> yeah, you were in your swimsuits. What were you two doing? <gasps> he showed me the jacuzzi in his room. Don't be too shocked. He has a jacuzzi in his room. You were in a jacuzzi with Oliver Rothschild? I mean, Oliver freaking Rothschild. Mr. I only date supermodels. Mr. I'm so rich I can buy my own island. All right, I get the picture. I mean, that's just insane. Wow, the both of them are really hung up about this. I should keep things to myself in the future. Really downplay what happened or change the subject. Anyway, hey, how did Rose get so wasted anyway? How much did you have to drink? Oh. Oh my God, we were playing sip or strip. Oh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Well, it looked like you guys had fun. Before the puking anyway, right, Hazel? T. Mm -hmm. What is Hazel looking at? What is Hazel looking at? Right. Is it the president? Yup, the president's son. I don't blame her at all. Woohoo! I recognize him almost immediately. Hang on, it's much too hot to play in this. <gasps> oh, David Madison, son of none other than the President of the United States. The temperature climbed at least 10 degrees hotter as soon as he removed his shirt. No wonder Hazel was staring at him as if her life depended on it. You'd have to be blind not to appreciate him. I thought David was Daddy AF. Yes. My stomach was doing flip-flops just looking at him. He's so amazing. By he, you mean David Madison? Yes. I don't know how he does it. He maintains a 4.0 GPA. He's a great athlete and he's nice to everyone. Like, he's a genuinely nice person. You forgot to mention that he's really, really hot too. And single. Ooh. So what have you done about it, Hazel? Oh, what do you mean? I mean, you like him, right? It's not that straightforward. David Madison is nice to everyone, but when it comes to close friends, he really only has a couple of people who lets in his inner circle. Could you blame the guy though? I mean, his dad is the president. It's tough enough being a teenager. Imagine having to live in the spotlight with him, with everyone watching him all the time. I bet he has to be careful about his every move. I don't envy him. Yeah, like we could go to parties like last night, get drunk or whatever. But if David Madison did that, it'll be all over the news today. That probably explains why he's so perfect. It must be hard. Wonder what it's like under that perfect polite image though. I don't mind admitting, I sure like to find out. Oh, at least we know what he's like under his shirt. Oh, go Aaliyah. She right though. Shit, Hazel has a thing for David Madison. And Michael wants me to get close to him. This is gonna be tricky. Uh oh, what the hell am I gonna do? Uh, is he texting me? Michael. Change your major to biology. What? Biology? <laughs> why? Why on earth would I do that? Because I'm giving you an N with D, that's why. I've arranged for D's lab partner to be transferred to another class. Oh, I hate biology. <laughs> Uh-oh. Quit whining and do as you're told. Oh, frick. Sorry guys, I have to go. Go where? I thought we were going to dinner together. Apparently I have to go change my major. Oh. But I thought you said that you really liked your major. I guess sometimes we don't get to do what we like. Wow, this sucks. Excuse me, is this the admissions office? Yes, I'm Mrs. Umbridge, have a seat. How can I help you? Hello, Mrs. Umbridge, my name is Aaliyah Greenwood. I'd like to change my major, please. Change your major? We're already in the middle of a term. I'm afraid you can't change your major now. Well, yes, you see, I just got transferred here on Monday and there must have been a mistake during the registration process or I made an error when filling out the registration form. There must have been a mistake, it's y'all, not me. There must have been a mistake during the registration process. I chose biology as my major, but I was given business as a major instead. Please, will you have a look? Oh, well, you just started yesterday? Let me have a look. Damn you, Michael. Is that a cat on her desk? So, you want to take biology as a major? Yes, that's right. Well, this is highly irregular, but I guess I could change your subject since you only just started yesterday. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, I got lucky. 
Here, you'll need to fill in these forms. And so I suddenly found myself majoring in biology. Michael apparently had no qualms, did I say it right? About majorly altering other people's lives to get what he wanted. I had a sinking feeling that this was only the beginning. The next day. Uh-oh. You must be the new transfer. I'm so sorry, I couldn't find the lab. That's all right, take a seat. Now class, as I was saying, in a cladogram. Glancing quickly around the room, I realized that there was only one seat which was empty. It was, of course, the seat beside David Madison, just as Michael had promised. I took a deep breath and walked over meekly. Here we go, y'all. My man. Oh. David Madison looked up and smiled at me, and my heart skipped a beat. As his dark eyes flickered to mine, he had a little smile on his lips, as if there was something about me that he found amusing. Tall, dark, and handsome, it was quite obvious that he was incredibly well-built, even with his clothes on. He had the most incredible cheekbones. He looked like a model in a high fashion end shoot, but his eyes were guarded, even as he gave me a friendly smile. And then he turned away and went back to looking at his book. Well. I had a feeling that it was not gonna be as easy getting to know David as it was with Oliver. Oh. Half an hour later, I was ready to throw in the towel. Biology was excruciating, and my new lab partner was as taciturn as he was good looking. Can anyone explain what homeostasis is? Miss Greenwood, would you like to try? <gasps> no. Have I mentioned that I freaking hate biology? I, uh, shit. Suddenly I noticed that David had placed his textbook on the table and he was discreetly pointing to a paragraph on page. I looked quickly at what he was pointing at. The tendency of an organism or a cell to regulate its internal conditions, usually by a system of feedback controls so as to stabilize health and functioning, regardless of the outside changing conditions. Excellent. Now the stable condition is the condition of optimal functioning for the organism. Phew. David saved me. I glanced over quickly at him. Thank you. Oh, he winked. Oh. Maybe biology wasn't gonna be so bad after all. Hmm. Please read chapter two on ultra radiant cycles as homework. Class dismissed. Here's my chance to speak with David. Okay, um, I'm gonna introduce myself because we're partners. I'm Aaliyah. <gasps> Not walking off. It was definitely gonna be hard to get to know David. Uh, well. Patience, right, right, Michael. Does Michael have eyes everywhere? I had to get David to start talking to me one way or another, somehow. I had to succeed if it was the last thing I do. Otherwise, it might really be the last thing I do. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Manhattan. Oh, who is this? I'm waiting for you, big boy. Mom? Do I really have to wear this? Oh, uh, I feel a bit silly. Oh, uh, yes, you have to wear whatever I want you to do. That's how it works, remember? Now, stop talking and start dancing. Make it sexy. <gasps> the things I do for love. You mean the things you do for money. Oh, I cannot believe my mama is naked. Come on, baby, don't say that. Wow. What, all of a sudden you mind being called a toy boy now? <gasps> you know, you're lucky your husband sends you so much money every month. Oh, luck has nothing to do with it. But is he aware that you're keeping all the money that he's sending to his daughter for yourself? Oh, uh, what? Careful now or I might decide not to spend any on you. Oh, I'm just pushing your buttons, babe. Now, do you want me to show you what I can do with my fireman's pole? <gasps> Ooh, I cannot believe I just heard what I just heard. I'm so mad that it only lets me read two chapters per story or you have to like buy a pass. <sighs> If you'd like to donate, feel free. The link is in the description, but no pressure. But if you enjoyed this video and want more episodes, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let them know about this tea. I cannot believe we saw my mama like that. And she's keeping money from me? Okay, I see you mama, I'ma learn about that. And also don't forget to buy, stream, and download Do My Thing. We just hit 2K streams, so we love to see it. And check out shop.iamallyfits.com so you can have you some merch and look cute as ever. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. May God bless you every step.